The Utah Division of Wildlife Resources, or DWR, shared this unique footage from their summer aerial fish dumps, a practice that restocks over 200 of Utah's high-altitude mountain lakes per year. Planes zoom just above the tree line, carrying hundreds of pounds of water and up to 70 pounds of fish. They drop about 35,000 fish in a single flight. It may be a shocking sight at first, watching trout and splake and grayling blast out of the back of an airplane, but it actually serves a practical purpose. What is that purpose, though? Why does Utah need to restock its lakes at all? And does that dramatic fall hurt the fish? It seems like there must be some other way to get the fish up to the lakes. So why use airplanes? We'll dive into the process of aerial fish dumping and explore why it's such a vital annual practice in Utah and other states around the US. Because the lakes are such popular fishing spots for hikers and campers, if Utah's DWR didn't restock the lakes every year, they'd be fishless. These fish are raised in hatcheries specifically for the summer aerial drops, and they're bred to be sterile to avoid disrupting the lake's respective ecosystems with an uncontrolled population explosion. Before flight, the fish are counted and weighed to assure that the right number and species make it into the right lakes. They're also raised in the water temperature of the eventual lake they'll be put in. The DWR claims that more than 95% of fish in each drop survive the fall. But how do they ensure that? The young fish are specifically grown to reach 1 to 3 inches long. That tiny size, combined with the low height from which they're dropped, means the air actually slows their fall, letting them flutter down and survive impact. The aerial dump practice began in 1956, but before that, fish were loaded into milk cans strapped to horses that hauled them up the mountainsides. The treks were strenuous and less efficient, meaning more could go wrong before reaching the lakes. Vehicles have no way to reach these high-altitude lakes, so airplanes have proven to be the most viable option. These days, planes can stock seven lakes in a single flight, making it both the most cost-effective option and the safest. Aerial drops may be done for the year, but keep an eye out for the flying fish again in July.